Well, you look beautiful. Thank you. I've blossomed. You've blossomed on the shelf. Well, I you were blossomed. like a gawky teenager when you first oh came here. Oh, my God. That's so rude. No, it's not rude. But I, mean, you, I mean, you were like... I was not gawky. You, well, you were a little gawky. Well, it's blossomed now, so I'm excited about it. Yeah, but, but, but you look beautiful. Oh, How you thank been? thank you. I've been great. You? I, I, I've been good. I know you, you've been doing your show. Did you get any time off the summer? Did you do anything? Did you have any fun? I went river rafting. Oh, okay. And who'd you go river rafting with? With my family and my boyfriend. It was really fun. Oh, your boyfriend and it. your family. Okay. Yes. So your, your mom went too? No, my mom chickened out. Oh, she did? Yeah, she didn't go. But oh, okay. it was it was my brother and my sister-in-law. Oh, okay. Okay. So where did you go? It was really fun in Tahoe. Oh, okay. So yeah. You, that, is that the Truckee? Is that the river? Uh-huh. It was okay. the Truckee River, and it was a class three, whatever that means. What do you mean? It was a three out. I guess there there's like one, two, three, four, and five. They go in order like that. The numbers isn't that exciting? And um, no, you mean in, in, you mean in terms of danger? How danger it is? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, so I didn't really ask too you, many questions. You were, I just did what they told me. Oh, you were not the class three. Oh, I'm saying you I mean was the, not river the, class was, three. Okay. Yes, the river so was okay. So they the said class it's three. dangerous. They said it was slightly dangerous, okay. and it was a really cold, rainy day, and so everybody else canceled except me, my brilliant family, okay. so <laughs> who decided, oh, we'll go out there and river raft anyway. And so we went anyway, and down it was Down the fun. rapids? Now, do you actually do any rowing, or you just sit in the boat? No, you have to row a lot. You have to follow your captain. Okay. Okay. Now, who was, who was the captain? Do they have a captain? I don't remember his you name, like somebody but he was in your very family. nice. Oh, no, okay. he was the guy from the river rafting Oh, company. the guy from the river rafting. He's not going to let us captain the boat. No, I don't know. No way. Now, was it real rafting? Is it like Disneyland where they have fake look out? Oh, it was very thing. exciting. Yeah. Oh. No, we went down like big things called Jaws and stuff. Okay. It was fun. And how far do you go? Do you, is it like 20 miles downstream? What Something do you like that. Yeah, okay. we were out there for like two okay. and a half hours All or right, so. It was good. fun. Okay, well, you, I, I don't think of you as a daredevil. Are you I'm not a, really. No. I had a moment. Yeah, okay. It was fleeting and it's gone. Because <laughs> I know you don't like to fly. I'm surprised. I hate flying. Now, what's wrong with flying? Because, well, I just don't understand it, really. I mean, you're in this huge thing <laughs> up in the air, and they tell you when you're on the ground, by right. the way, right. that you can't, you can't stand up, but yet when you're 35,000 feet in the air, you're allowed to walk about the cabin and go back. Don't understand that at all. It doesn't make any sense. Right. I hate flying. I'm a really? terrible flyer. Really? No, what do you do? Do you throw fits? What do you do? Do you... Um, no, I ask a lot of questions. I have like a certain preparation that I do before <laughs> I fly. What questions do you ask? Well, are we gonna, are we gonna crash? Are we gonna be fine? No, when you say, oh, excuse me, are we gonna crash? Is this bump necessary? Can well, let me you ask not you, so do this to me right now? If they say yes, we're gonna crash, you know to get off that <laughs> flight. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm talking about in the air. Okay. No, but I have a whole thing that I do before I fly. Like, I have five people. Everybody should do this. It's great. I have like five people that I call, and I'm like, please call up the angels for me because I'm getting ready to wait, fly. Wait, 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 what do you mean? You Police call up the angel. They're praying for you. Is that what you're yeah, saying? say a little prayer for well, my well, flight. Well, that's all right. Okay, that's a nice okay. Thing. So you call. And so then I do that. Then I have my Saint Christopher card, which protects me while I'm flying. Saint Christopher card. Yes. Now, has it expired? Did you read the card? Because it's <laughs> expired. You know, if you're not paid up, he's bringing that plane down. It is not expired. It's wonderful. And it, I carry is, it with me. And then I have a necklace that has um, saints on it that was actually blessed at St. Patrick's Cathedral wow. in New York. And I hold that the whole time that I'm flying. Well, and then my grandma always sends angels for me. And Grandma's send angels, you're safe. Well, how do you get fine. through the metal detector? That's unbelievable. You have all this. Well, it's not like a clock. So you do this it's not every like this time. Big. It's just like a little necklace. Yeah. And I do it every time. Okay. And so far. And where do you sit? Do you say, do you look like and say, I want to sit near the back of the plane because if it crashes, you're less likely to be injured? Or do you sit No, in the front? I always like to sit in the front because I like to be near the captain because I figure, you know, they're, they're going to take care of business. Oh, okay. And then when I get on the plane, I always say, excuse me, I'm very afraid to fly. How bad is the turbulence going to be throughout the flight? The whole flight. And what do they say? Like, they if say it's 14 the same hours, thing. I don't want a map of when we're going to hit a bump. <laughs> and then they kind of give me a general idea, and then I'm okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now, did you pre board? Do you get on before everyone else? Yeah. Yeah, they do that. People don't like to fly with me. No, no. <laughs> I'm a flyer. Yeah. Yeah. I really you am. You know what I used to do? It's what? horrible. This sounds terrible, and I hate admitting it. But when I used to fly, I, that's the days you could bring all your carry on. Yeah. Everyone check. So I would, they would say, anyone who needs to pre board. So I would, I would limp up. Oh, right. that's awful. And one day I'm limping up. The guy goes, oh, you have a bed. I'm limping up, and, and this lady in a wheelchair says, oh, go ahead, dearie. You're in more pain than I am. Oh, no. I, I felt like the guy in the movie Titanic to put on the dress to oh, get in the no. rowboat. You know, and, and so I quit doing oh, it after that. Oh, that's awful. Well, it's not awful. It's just, that's pretty awful. It's awful. Right. It is. Now, have you ever had a bad flight? Have you had one where it, it, it bounced? Oh, or? I have, yeah. yeah. I had a really scary flight on one of the Did you whip out planes. your car? Did you show everybody? That you no, I didn't. <laughs>
<laughs> it gives me so much trouble when I'm here. I did not whip out my card. I was on a, um, like a private jet thing, right. which I don't really like. Everybody's okay. like so excited, like, ooh, a private jet. I hate that. It's like the size of a shoebox. And right. I got in there, and um, the air conditioning broke. And so as soon as we took off, the, the plane like filled with heat. And I had a panic attack, and I started freaking out. And my mom had to jump on me and like, get me to calm down, <laughs> which is just traumatic in the first place, because like you come to, and your mom's on you, like, are you OK? And I'm like, no, I'm not. Um, and it was scary so heat, and who, awful. Who, who, who's this? Hefner's plane? Who turned on the heat? <laughs> no, I don't know what happened, but something malfunctioned oh, anyway. Those, and it was just really off. hot. And yeah. you know how, like, when you're already panicking? Yeah. And then okay. heat, and it was just not good. Anyway, okay. this is not an exciting okay. story. Okay. I mean, it's no, flying. It's, would you say you're high maintenance? No, I don't think I'm high maintenance. Really? No, I take care of myself when I'm scared. It's not like I grab the person next to me and no. I'm like, you got to tell me everything's right. going to be okay. No, I have my own little would your plan. I know I'm your, weird. Would your boyfriend say you're high maintenance? I, he's not here right now, is he? <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to ask him that question. Well, no, I, I don't I think he would say I'm high maintenance. Well, you, you probably want me to ask him because, you know. Why are you laughing? Just by this. That, <laughs> every man knows this is the international sign for high maintenance, no. okay? When a woman does maintenance. this. The high maintenance Jennifer Love Hewitt. Wow. Now. That's interesting. You just wow. found that out about yourself. That's fascinating. I know, and I'm going to be tortured by it. No, now. no, I'm just curious. It's I'm going to work at being not high maintenance for the I, next time I see you. That is an admirable goal. How about that? That, was, uh, that would be admirable. Okay. That's that what I'm going to try to do. Because I remember the last time you here, you we talked about infomercials, and you like to buy, you, you buy stuff. Oh, uh, I love infomercials. Really? That yeah, that? I really do. Oh, somebody was excited really? about the infomercials. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love them. I'm fascinated by them. There's this new thing that I really want to get that I haven't, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Stayed up late enough to order yet, but when you it's haven't stayed up late enough, up. yeah, the, the commercial's on really late. Okay. But it's called the perfect push-up, and it's like um, these suction cups that kind of look like the things on an air hockey table, yeah. and you lay them on the ground, and anybody is supposed to be able to do the perfect push-up. I'm psyched about it. I can't wait to wait order minute, it and learn minute, how to do like a minute. great push-up. How hard is a push-up to do? It's not that hard to do. When you have these things as arms, <laughs> it's not very easy. But that doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't give you bigger arms. This commercial says, I will be able to do a push-up, and I believe it. <laughs> it says not only a push-up, but the perfect push-up. No, I think you have I'm to eat the steroids it. that come in the box with it. <laughs> I mean, if your no, hands aren't big it. enough. I'm going to give it a try. Have you ever tried to do a push-up? I have tried in the past. And why the can't past? you do one? What's well, I can kind of do one. What, what's so hard about doing a push-up? I don't know. I just don't have a lot of arm strength. Why, why don't you? You want to try a push up right now? I bet you. Yeah, I'm do a... dressed for it. Why not? Um, not, not a really? girl. Not a girl push up. Real? I can't do a girl one. No, you not 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 with the knees. You gotta have your wait wait. Well, here, here, I'm here. in a dress. Slip that off. Oh, no, no, here. Okay. Here, wait, here, here, I'll okay, move this. I'll wait, try well, I'll move this table. so you can be on the rug. No, oh, jeez. All right, here. You go. Okay, ready. Okay. Ready? Thank you very much. Now you. That was pathetic. Now, it's the best I could do. I haven't ordered the thing yet. Oh. When I do the perfect, yeah. I'm going to come back and I'm going to be not high right. maintenance will and you come, buff. Will you, you are, okay. Will Everybody you come back? Everybody just watch out. Will you come back? You give me five. That's I the rule. I'll give you ten. All right. All right. That sounds good. I'm going to hold you to that. It's fine. I'm right. happy about it. I'm now ordering the thing get, tonight. Stay up late. <laughs> are you going to get a Vespa? Did I read that? I want a Vespa so bad. Oh, I've got a Vespa. They're nice. Really? But you'll kill yourself. Do you have any? <laughs> If you can't do a push-up, well, how are you going to ride a motor scooter? <laughs> I can do it. Huh? I can do push-ups. I can be not high maintenance, and I can drive a Vespa. Have you ever ridden a scooter or a motorcycle? No, I haven't, but I'm ready to learn. Really? Yes. Wow, I bet the people at the show will be thrilled with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want a Vespa so bad. You know, Audrey Hepburn was on the Vespa in Roman right, Holiday, right, so okay. I have secret visions of me in a great dress on a Vespa doing the Audrey Hepburn Oh, yeah, a thing. dress on a Vespa. That's good. You know All what right, I'm, maybe not a and dress. And when you go over 30 miles an hour, it goes over your head. Okay, that's what happens. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, send me your Britney. Really okay, hey, what that. happened? Why don't you believe in me? I can do this. I these do things. believe in you. I do believe in you. I need just, you to believe in me. I'm just realistic. <laughs> Well, well, tell me about the Ghost Whisperer. Any new? Uh, oh, we have a great all new ghosts this up. season coming up. All, yes, of course, because mm. the other ones have crossed over. Yeah, now, I got to ask you something. Yes. You told me. Now you told me this set was haunted. <laughs> it's just a, it's We're an on empty, a very haunted soundstage. It's just an empty building, isn't it? It's, uh, it gets haunted when you bring that show. You in. don't believe in this stuff, but for, but for people who do, there can be energies and spirits in and around. So what places. have you seen, like? Uh, like, for example, like uh, around the craft service table, when the Teamsters come around, do the donuts disappear? <laughs> that is not nice. And yes, they do. <laughs> they do disappear. <laughs> yes, hey, they there do. was a crawler. No, what we, happened? Hey, no, we had a, um, we had a, we were filming in this certain part of the lot, and mm -hmm. um, there was this kind of building that I was walking out of to start a scene, mm -hmm. and like seven different crew members went inside this building and all had very strange experiences. Like one of the ladies felt her um, sweater being tugged like this, and she couldn't explain it, and another guy felt somebody tugging on the bottom of his jeans. I had the bottom of my dress tugged, and you know we definitely maybe there was felt a like senator in there. there. It could have been a U.S. senator. <laughs> We definitely felt like there was something in there. But we work on Ghost Whisper, so you never know. Okay, okay. But now your premiere it's is a great season. Your premiere is this Friday. Yeah, and I'm really excited. And the excited next time you come it. here, you're going to give me 10 push ups. That's the deal? 10 push ups, and I'm going to ride out on my Vespa. All right, that's good. Sounds good. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Be right back with Jeff Corwin and the Amazing Animals. Right All right, my next guest is the popular wildlife dogs. Jennifer, you can come up. Really? Yeah. Hi. You don't have any meat in your pockets. No. <laughs> But um, they're Peace just for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they're incredibly social, yeah. incredibly intelligent animals. And they look, they, I mean, they almost look like house dogs. Well, they're, they're very closely related. In fact, 10,000 years ago, the original domesticated dog right. was probably harvested or taken from the wild from an animal like this. Now, could you, if you took one of these pups, could you domesticate it? You cannot domesticate a wild okay. wolf. Wild okay. wolves are that way. They have a, a structure, a social ability to survive. They live in a situation where, where you'll get the alpha male, the alpha female, right. up to 20, 30 other animals that make up that individual. You can get, you want to pet them? Are they yeah, good they hunters? Okay. They are incredible hunters. And what's okay. really amazing is that they live in... <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they live in some of the most inhospitable terrain yeah. up in, you know, in Alaska and part of the American West. And uh, what you have is usually the alpha male, the alpha female. They're the only ones that are allowed to breed within that community of wolves. Okay. Now, you always hear those movies about, Ow! you know, they're howling at the moon. Do they howl at the you moon? You can try it. Let's see. No, I don't mean I'll try it. Oh. That doesn't work, see. But do, they, do they howl at the moon? They don't howl at the moon, but they are very, very social. And what they'll do is they'll use howling as a way to establish territory, right. as a way to, to let other wolves know that they're invading a part of the country that they should stay away. Because wolf packs will be in competition with each other for good terrain, for prey. And, of course, this is an animal that has always had sort of a, a conflicted relationship with human beings. Okay, yeah. They've not always been very well respected right. in North America. And okay. there's been some controversy about them trying to reintroduce them in places like Yellowstone and gotcha, stuff gotcha. like that. Well, thanks, guys. Nice to meet wow. you two. All right, what so else so we got? Nice gonna, come on. Come, come on. on. All right, see you later. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. What do we got? Oh. oh. Now this is really cool. We sort of switch. If you can grab that I always see these run over on the highway. I'm you